Hello there, my fellow associates in the staffing industry. Tom Kosnick, president and founder of the Vices Group, offering organizational development and growth strategy consulting services to the staffing industry. I'm going to give a brief presentation here on the state of the economy and the state of the staffing industry and a few things to think about as we go into the fourth quarter. First of all, I read the Wall Street Journal every day. On September 30th, they had released an article talking about the pending recession, quoting a couple of key economists. Uh, a few days later, they talked about the job market being the lowest it's been in, in 50 years. Again, up and down, a little bit of uh, yin and yang. I also follow the, uh, the guys from ITR Economics. Uh, up in New Hampshire, another great source of information. They have a, uh, a leading trends report. They follow, they uh, track 10 leading trends in the economy, and they're showing that uh, their lead indicator is that the economy has been slowing down. And more importantly, they have a report, uh, the ISM Purchasing Managers Report, uh, and that is uh, quite a bit down, as you'll see in, in the slide here. Uh, so if you're in the manufacturing sector, servicing the manufacturing sector, this is a, this is a key one to take a look at. Uh, you probably have seen that the yield curve inverted. A lot of people in business and the economy look at this as a, a key indicator. We look at it basically because it's the most reliable factor of a potential uh, recession. It's not the only one we look at, but it's a good thing to, to keep in mind. Uh, staffing Industry Analysts, another great organization servicing the staffing industry, recently put out a report showing that uh, the U.S. economy is going to continue to expand, but in 2020, it's going to uh, expand below 2%. 2% is a magic number for us. Uh, basically, a 2% growth is a flat economy. Uh, I've been hearing reports from many of my clients over the last two or three quarters that their business has been flat. Uh, if we go below 2%, chances are that uh, they're going to they're gonna experience uh, some retraction in, in their business. So, hey, what's the conclusion of all of this is that a lot of indicators showing that the economy is in fact slowing. Uh, we do have a lot of potential in the staffing industry uh, as uh, there are more open uh, job orders than people applying for jobs. So that's good for us in, in the staffing industry, but we do have to be aware that the economy is slowing. We've got to think through uh, what are some things that uh, we can do. Okay, so the economy is slowing. So now what should we be thinking about for Q4 of this year and 2020 of next year? Uh, first question I have for you is a time to retract the business. First, you might want to look at all the uh, low producers within your organization. Uh, if you're not getting any traction out of them, it might be a good time uh, this year, this quarter, to uh, encourage them to take a, another job in another organization. The other thing you might want to do is take a look at uh, the portfolio of your offices. If you have a couple of offices here or there that are underwater losing money, now is the time to probably think about putting an action plan together to cut those businesses so that it'll position you to be in a healthier spot in uh, Q1 of 2020. The other thing is that uh, your senior sales reps should be doing account planning and account planning is basically going to the key decision makers of your key accounts, showing them the revenue spend, finding out from them their strategy, their revenue spend for next year, uh, what percentage you have, uh, what, is there a way that you can increase that percentage for your business. Lastly, uh, now is the time to double down on your clients. Don't sit and wait uh, for a call from them, but increase your activity uh, with your clients. All really good things to do as the economy is slowing. I like to also talk about a resource that you might want to read. Now, this one came to me from a number of clients of mine, The Hard Things About Hard Things, uh, a book that I would really encourage a great read, talking about mistakes that, that get made uh, in growing a business and how to build an engaging culture in uh, today's day and age. If you like the video, please feel free to like, comment. Uh, I'll be happy to email you. Uh, any of those tools, feel free to, to reach out. Tom Kosnick, Vices Group, uh, offering organizational development and growth strategy consulting services to the staffing industry. Thank you.